Hi guys, hope everyone's doing good. So for today, you're going to need a two loop band, okay, and a pair of bands. If you don't have the bands, don't worry about it, okay? You can still follow the workout and see what we're doing, okay? But we are going to be using the bands for today. So today's workout isn't like the other workouts I've been doing. I've been kind of doing like total body sessions or lower body sessions or just, just core workouts, okay? I had a few people um, asking me how to train their back, okay, without using weights. So today we're just going to do a back workout, okay? And <clears throat> by training your back muscles, obviously this is still going to help your posture, okay? Um, it's going to help a lot. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do one, two, three, four, five exercises. Okay, we're going to do each exercise for approximately 45 seconds. Um, we're going to do three rounds today. Okay, only because the workouts, the, the, the exercises, they're not, they're not. It's, it's not going to be a high intensity session. Okay, it's just going to be, um, just going to be effective. Okay, you're still going to get a good workout from it. So I'm just going to set up my timing here. Okay. So today's workout is going to take um, approximately 16 minutes. <clears throat> so again, if you've only got done, make sure you have your loop bands ready and the pair band, okay? The stronger the better as well. So don't have a light band because you're not going to get any benefits from, from doing this workout if you have light bands, okay? So strong bands if you have them. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm going to go through the workouts, okay? So the first one is the spinal brace. You guys have done this before. I've done it a few times in the live workouts. Um, anyone who's online who I train, you obviously know this one as well. But I'll go through it again for those who may not be, um, might not have seen it before. So resting your feet on the ground at all times. You're gonna place one hand on top of the other. You're gonna rest your forehead on your hands, okay? When you lift your chest off the ground, you're gonna push the elbows up, keeping your elbows higher than your wrists, okay? To create the movement, you must activate your glutes. Okay, so you have to always remember that your glutes must be supporting your lower back at all times. So that's how your body should be functioning. So lying face down, feet on the ground at all times, place one hand on top of the other, place your forehead on your hands, and then you're going to lift, pushing the elbows up as high as you can. Okay, we're going to hold, we're going to hold each repetition, okay, for approximately three to five seconds. Okay, so that's the first exercise. The second exercise then, there's a couple of ways of doing it. If you don't have loop bands, you can use a third band, okay? When we're using the third band, you can do seated rows. So you're gonna sit down. You've done this before again. If you've worked with me, you've definitely done this one before. So legs straight, feet hip width, cross the band over, okay? Holding the ends of the bands, sit up straight, and then from there, you're just gonna do low rows, squeezing the shoulder blades together, okay? And then reset. Low rows, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, there's no point just going through the motions, okay? Hold each repetition and squeeze as much as you can. Again, make sure you're breathing out, okay? You'll get a better contraction if you're focusing on your breath work as well. So if you have two loop bands, again, <clears throat> one stronger, one weaker, or both the same strength, it doesn't matter. If you only have a stronger band and a weaker band, put the stronger band around your feet, okay? Like so. So then you're gonna have this hip width stance then. And with the other band then, you're going to place that band under the other, okay? So you see, I'm just keeping it like that. You just place it under the loop band, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab both ends of that band. So I hope you can all see. So that band is looped around the one on the bottom. And from there then, you're going to bend your knees slightly, bring your body weight forward so your body is almost parallel with the, your upper body is almost parallel to the ground. And from there, you're going to do rows. Keeping the elbows tucked in nice and tight. Again, you're working those back muscles. Squeeze the shoulders together. You're going to hold each repetition. Because again, we're only using, you know, we're only using resistance bands. So for a lot of us, especially if you're a teenager or an adult, you're going to be a lot stronger than the younger kids doing these workouts, okay? So 
you might not um, get the same benefit out of it if you're only using resistance bands, because unless you've got very, very strong bands, that is, okay? Um, a lot of us need weight to actually get the benefit, the, the true benefits from these exercises. So, but again, I'm doing these because I had a lot of people ask me, how do you train your back muscles? How do you, you know, train your back muscles when you're at home? You can't go to the gym. So that's why I'm covering this one today. From there then, oh, I should have left the bands on. So that, that's your bench over row. Next one then is your single arm row. So again, the same thing, you're going to place that band under the other one. This time then, you're also going to grab both ends using one hand. Okay, you can rest this hand by your side if you want. Again, bend the knees slightly, bring your body weight forward so it's almost parallel out of the ground. And then you're going to run. Okay, so I'll do it from the other side so you can see. So body weight forward, push your chest out, back flat. And then you're going to row, keeping that elbow tucked in nice and tight. Okay. And then we're going to switch off to the other side as well then. Okay, so that's your single arm rows. Then the next one then, you're going to do is just a standing row. I'll do it on my knees so you can obviously see me in the camera. But you can do the standing up if you want. Okay, you can do sitting down as well if you want. So it's up to yourselves. So we're going to do um, resistance band rows, but we're going to externally rotate. Okay. So if you think about when we're, a lot of us, we have bad posture, so our shoulders are falling forward. This is called protraction. We want to retract them, okay? So everything is internally rotating, so we want to externally rotate everything. We want to do the opposite, okay? We want to retrain our bodies to make sure it's functioning right. So what we're going to do is, you're going to hold onto the band, grab it with your fingers only, so your thumbs are over the top, okay? Your hands are roughly shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider. If the band is, <coughs> if the band is really, really light, Keep your hands closer together, okay? Because when you stretch that band, you're going to get a better workout, okay? If the band is really strong and you can't complete the movement, then obviously get a wider grip. So, but if the band is okay for you, hands are roughly shoulder width apart, thumbs over the top. Keep your arms straight at all times. You're going to stretch the band. So I'll show you from the side view. Stretch the band. When you stretch the band, you're going to externally rotate your thumbs. You're pointing your thumbs in the opposite direction, and you're going to push those arms behind. And you can see I'm squeezing, squeezing my shoulder blades together, okay? Again, we're going to hold each contraction. Now look, anyone can do this movement, okay? You can hold that all day long if you just stayed relaxed, if you didn't work your muscles at all. We want to squeeze the muscles between the shoulder blades as much as you can, okay? The bigger the contraction, the better for you. And then the last one then is just a bird dog. So, some people know them as Superman. So, you're going to go onto your hands and your knees. You've done this one before, I'm sure. And you're just going to lift your right arm, left leg. Now when you lift, keep your arm fully extended, knee fully extended. You're going to lift to activate the glutes, lift to activate the top of the shoulders. And again, you're obviously going to feel those back muscles are going to activate as well. So to make sure you're not overworking your back, activate the glutes, activate the front of the trunk. Okay, so that's your workout for today. As I said, we're going to do each exercise for 45 seconds. Okay, to make sure we get enough reps done. You're going to hold each repetition. Don't be going through the motions, just going one, two, three. Okay, you need to remember that when you're dancing, you just keep your shoulders in this position for the couple of minutes that you're on stage, okay? Your muscles up here are working for those couple of minutes, okay? They're supposed to be working for that period of time to keep your shoulders in the right position. So if you're training your body and you're doing quick reps and you train your body to switch on and switch off, that's what your muscles are gonna do when you're dancing. They're gonna switch on and switch off. So if you wanna push your shoulders back, then only switch on for the few seconds that you've been training your body to switch them on. So to keep them switched on for longer, you must make sure that we're holding the contraction for each repetition. I hope that makes sense for you, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm just going to check my timer before we start, okay? And then we'll get going. Cool. So we're going to count down from 10. We're going to start off with the spinal braces, okay? Again, hold the repetitions. Count down from 10. Lying face down, one hand top of the other. Press your head in your hands. Ready? Let's go. Lift and hold. Down, up. So when you come down, don't be lying down for very long. Your hip, you touch the ground and come up again. Down, up. Push the elbows up. Down, up. Remember to activate the glutes to create the movement. Keep your feet down. Down, up. Down, up. 
Breathe out when you lift your body weight up. Anytime you use effort, you're breathing out. Down, up. Down, rest. Good job. So you can see, like, if you've been doing that exercise at home and you've just been going up and down, up and down, up and down, you feel like when you're holding it, you know the difference. Okay, so bench over row next. Band around the feet. Loop band under. Grab on to both ends. Let's go. Straight into it now. Oh, I get my bend. So, side view. Hold each one. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. And squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. And you're switching on your hamstrings and your glutes when you're in this position as well. Okay, rest. Single arm row. So, using only one hand to hold that band. Let's go. Even to stay in this position, bring your body down parallel to the ground, spin the knees. You're, you're working those back muscles big time. Your hamstrings and your glutes are switched on. Okay, so really, really good. So when you're doing your single arm rows, I'll do some face and knee. So make sure you keep your elbows tucked in nice and tight. Bring the elbow up nice and high. Breathe out when you perform a rep. Hold each repetition or it's a waste of time. And rest and stuff. So again, if you're doing it right, like my back muscles are switched on already. Okay. Let's go. If you only have a third band, you can probably put it around your feet like so, get the two ends, and then you can roll on one side and roll on the other side, okay? If, if you uh, only have a third band. You've got these two loop bands happy out. Hold each repetition. You'll see that when you get tired, your back is going to round like this. Push the chest down to keep the back flat, okay? Okay, rest. So next one is your standing rows. So I'm getting a curve band for this one. So if you don't have a curve band, you can do body weight. Okay, again, you're still gonna get a good session from it. So body weight is good enough. Squeeze, hold each repetition for 10, nine, eight. We're gonna hold it for a long period of time, remember? But again, we're not just holding it, you're squeezing as much as you can. Breathe out slowly and breathe in. Breathe out, and as you breathe out, you try to get a better contraction. So again, my muscles are switched on straight away now, so you guys should be feeling the same. And rest. Bird dogs next, so on your hands and knees. Let's go right arm left leg and then alternate. Hold each one for three seconds and then switch. Five seconds if you want. And switch. So again, for the five, three to five seconds, don't just hold this position, okay? Lift as high as you can and then hold it. When you reach max range of motion, that's when you hold it. Try not to rotate the pelvis too much as well. Keep everything in line. Make sure you type them in there and I'll try and cover them as we go along, okay? 
So if you're unsure of something, if you want to know a different way to do something, just let me know, okay? So again, my back muscles, again, they're all fired up like after the first exercise you can feel it, okay? So you guys should be the same. So you can see, there's lots of ways to train at home. No excuses if you don't have a gym, okay? There's always ways to work around it. So we're going to go back to our spinal brace. Again, hold in each contraction. Center rows next, single arm rows then, stand rows for a dog, okay? Any questions, just let me know, guys, okay? So we're going to get straight into the second round. So start off with your spinal braces, ready? Let's go. Down, up. Five seconds at least, 10 seconds if you want to. Down, up. Down, up. Remember to activate those glutes. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Rest. So eventually we're all getting ready real quick. So remember your stronger band is around your feet. Lighter band around that band. Pull on to both ends. Let's go. So bend your knees, body bit forwards, keep the elbows tucked in nice and tight. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. So a lot of people tend to rotate to one side, okay? So I'll show you from the front. Keep your body in line, so don't be switching over left or right like this, okay? Keep everything in the middle, okay? And just row. Shoulders have to be the same, the same line. Keep the shoulders the same height.
Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together now. Bring the hands behind your body as much as you can. Good. So bird dogs next. On your hands and knees. Let's go. Right arm, left leg, and then alternate. and I'll go by sets. Um, but really like repetitions killed, you know, they killed a lot of training, they killed a lot of gains for a lot of people because <clears throat> what you're really supposed to do is to, to build strength, you're actually supposed to work for 30 to 45 seconds. Okay, so what they did was years ago it used to go all about time and then they changed it for, for repetitions because it's very hard to keep track of time when you're working very, very hard. Okay, so <clears throat> It's a lot easier to keep track of repetitions, but then you'll see people in the gym and they're half doing repetition, or they're doing it very fast. So that muscle isn't, it's not under tension long enough. So when we go by time like we're doing right now, for 45 seconds, those muscles are under tension for, those, for, most part, for the most part of those 45 seconds. For at least 30 seconds, they're under tension. So that means we're, we're gaining strength, okay, by performing repetitions, you know, the way that we do now. So at home, if you're performing an exercise, Make sure that you forget about repetitions, make sure you go with time and make sure that you feel the contraction, okay? And complete the movement correctly. That's what we're trying to do is like this, these exercises, they're to, they're to better your mechanics, okay? So don't get confused with doing something fancy in the gym and, and doing something effective, okay? I see it all the time. So try and keep it simple and focus on the muscles that you're supposed to target when you're performing that exercise. So just a little rant while uh, we're taking a break. So we're gonna do one more round. Okay, so back to your spinal braces. Again, hold the repetition now, okay? Now, ready to go. Let's go, up we go. And we're going to hold for five, ten seconds if you want to. Activate the glutes. And when you come down, just relax. Activate them. Come down and relax. Don't be on the ground for too long. You want to be in the air. Remember, we want to work those muscles for as long as possible. Okay, and then it's just trying to maintain it by putting it under more tension like we're doing now. Good, press. So stand up. 
So a lot of people, when they think about core, they always think about their abdominals. They forget about their back. Let's go, turn the round. See how I'm rotating as well at the bottom? So my thumb is pointing out to the side when I come up, pointing forward. So I'm getting good rotation out of the shoulder. Okay, good. Press. Pull on to the opposite side now. Ready? Let's go. Keep the elbow tucked in nice and tight. Again, you can still do this through your turn around, put the band around your feet, hold on to both ends, and you can row the same way. If you've got a bottle of water, same thing. Okay, bring your body this forward, hold on to that bottle of water. high rows, so externally rotating, let's go, again squeeze the shoulder blades together, hold it as long as you can, remember we're not staying in this position, relax, You're try to work harder and harder and harder, okay, the bigger the contraction the better for you, again you can do this with no band and you'll still feel it. And rest. Last one is the bird dog. On your hands and knees. Let's go. Right arm, left leg. Remember, work the shoulders, work the glutes, and relax. So, just because the uh, the back might feel a little bit tight after doing that, okay? So, we do a couple of stretches, just really quick. So, the stretch the lower back, bring both knees into your chest. And relax, lie down. So bring your left knee into your chest, hands down, hands up by your side, and you're gonna drop that left knee to your right side. Try and keep your hands facing, facing down, touching the ground at all times. And keep your knee up high as well. You'll see a lot of people that will drop over to the side and they'll drop the knee as well, okay? So keep the knee up nice and high.
and reset. Right knee up, drop down to your left side. And relax. Bend both knees. Bring your left foot up on top of your right side. Hold on to your lower leg. Hold on to your knee and bring that into your chest then. So you're stretching your glutes. And relax. Opposite foot up on top. Grab the leg, lower leg, grab the knee. And relax. Up onto your knees. <coughs> so from there, you're going to interlock your fingers. Take a deep breath in. And then breathe out. And push your hands away from your body. Sticking your back out. Chest in, like so. And relax. Breathe in. And breathe out. As you breathe out, get that stretch. And relax. Okay, so <clears throat> as you can see, if you did that workout with your bands, okay, you can see that it's very, very effective. Okay, again, thanks for joining in, guys, and uh, I'll see you again next week. So enjoy the weekend. Okay, if, any, if you have any questions, just get in contact with me. Thank you.